Show with John Impemba and James Grande. What's going on, FA Nation? John Impemba here with James Grande. Welcome into the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Playbook Show preview. We are here for the Thursday six game main slate kicking off here. At 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Phoenix versus Boston. Finishing up at 10 p.m. We got two 10 p.m. games. We got the Knicks and the Blazers and the Mavericks and the Thunder there to close out the slate. Uh, James, how you doing, man? Um, Ready to move on from Wednesday. It was terrible. Uh, the Raptors and the Pistons are, are very annoying. And I should have known better than to trust either of those teams with my money so oh you didn't like just randomly 28 minutes out of kate cunningham in that game uh, zero fourth quarter minutes for kate cunningham grady dick couldn't make a shot uh jonte porter was popular and made all did everything uh, almost, Fontecchio didn't hit anything Fontecchio uh had uh negative fantasy points until he made it three with about 30 seconds left in the first half um yeah. so it was one of those days uh down obviously luca as well kind of um down day for luca looks like we're not going to get a triple double out of him so uh nothing really going right but the good thing about dfs is you get to lose money all over again the next day <laughs> or win money all over i'm just kidding day. i'm completely kidding we're going to turn the leaf and win money on you know there we could be looking at a, a historic slate as of right now daniel gafford's four for four from the field Yes. He is uh, a perfect three for three away from tying uh, the consecutive made field goal record of uh, Wilt Chamberlain. So uh, should he not attempt any additional shots, he'll have that opportunity to set, tie, and break that record here on the Thursday slate. So uh, something to at least maybe pay attention to. But uh, like you said, let's turn the page. We got six games here on the Thursday to look at. Um Kicking off again, as I mentioned here, Phoenix, Boston. Boston's at home giving four and a half. Chris Dats, Porzingis already ruled out for this one. Jalen Brown, questionable. Uh, 229 total here. Clippers, Bulls. Uh, Bulls are getting four and a half at home. 220 and a half total that one. Washington, Houston. Houston giving eight and a half at home. 226 and a half. Philly, Milwaukee. Milwaukee giving eight and a half. 222 and a half total. Dallas versus the Thunder. Thunder giving six and a half. 239 and a half total there. And then the Knicks and the Blazers. Blazers getting eight and a half at home to ten and a half game total there. Uh, when it comes to injuries on this slate, we obviously are paying attention to the Clippers here. Uh, James Harden questionable. Kawhi Leonard questionable after leaving the other night. So two big names for the Clippers certainly to pay attention to. Mentioned the Celtics already. Uh, Kobe White ruled out already for this game, or at least ruled out for the. Was ruled out for the rest of the Thursday, the Wednesday game. So yeah, he left Thursday's game. We'll, we'll see his status for uh, for this matchup here on the second night of a back to back. Obviously, the Portland guys are paying attention to. Um, so could be an interesting slate once again for injuries. Obviously, with just six games here, um, you know, smaller player pools, value, and all that good stuff to be found. Uh, overall, top price plays on the slate: Lucas twelve seven. Giannis 11-4, SGA 10-4. Your only guys up over ten thousand dollars, which brings us to the point guard position. Luca at twelve seven, SGA at ten four. Again, Luca coming down off of a little bit of a bad game here. Obviously, at any moment, uh, it doesn't take long for him to turn it around. Uh, he's currently at twenty one three and eight uh, with a whole quarter to go. We could finish this show, and he could be at. 35, 12, and 12, and we'd be like, oh, right, it's, it's Luka Doncic here. So uh, where are you when it comes to spending up at the point guard position? Um, I think this is going to be a slate that we get potentially see Luka low-owned, um, given the matchup, or lower-owned. He was 65% yeah. in the 27 single tonight. So <laughs> um, it's sometimes it's like gets to the point where, okay, what if Jalen Brown's ruled out, right? And then you have Tatum team to himself. And what if the Clippers guys are ruled out? You're like, oh, well, I want to jam Paul George because he's 8,300 team to himself. Van Vliet gets Washington. He's 83. Like, it feels like a slate that Luka would go under owned. Um, so I definitely would have interest if that is the case. 12-7, uh, not really scared off after a bad game, considering he had six straight 70 or seven straight 70, whatever it was. Three, three, uh, triple doubles, so. Um, 
Yeah, no, but he also had a like 39, 12, and 9 that resulted in like 80 fantasy points the game prior. Yeah. So like it's just the the fantasy score hadn't even uh 45, 14, and 9 was the game against Cleveland where he went for 87, no triple double. That was the and then the, then he started the streak. So perfectly fine game to Luca, especially if we get ownership and he's a little low owned. Uh Jalen Williams off the injury report. It's not that SGA won't shoot. Um, maybe we don't see 10 rebounds again. But a uh, really good spot for OKC. A little worried about Dallas on the back-to-back unless Luke and Kyrie can, like, be superheroes for them on sure. the, like going into Oklahoma City. Uh, I think this is a very interesting spot for Brunson um, to maybe get bolstered back up to full capacity minutes. 29-32, didn't need to ramp up any further with that absolute routing of Philly. Um, just 27 minutes in that game, but... 29 and four, 42 fantasy points. I like the price coming down. So I like Brunson. Um, definitely can play Devin Booker, sub 9K. We will never forget his historic 70 point game against Boston when uh, Phoenix wasn't any good. Yeah. James Harden, if he plays, no Kawhi could be interesting. Lillard tournaments, Maxi, really good spot tournaments. Um, I, I think ultimately it's probably Van Vliet. That's the guy that you want. Uh, outside of like the top two names 39 minutes 16 shots uh home against washington and goon done for the year and goon done for the year we saw him do everything i mean 21 7 7 2 and 2 you know the blocks and steals maybe not repeatable but he averages two per game combined so i mean you know no reason not to get like start cash games with him in, in this spot against a uh, washington team and, and honestly if you want to go there in tournaments as well well yeah, below him, I mean, there's Derek White. Obviously, Drew Holiday back, but, you know, no Porzingis, maybe no Jalen Brown. Derek White's picked it up again the last couple of games here. Now that he is 7K now, so price, you know, DraftKings quick to recognize uh, Derek White here. But um, if guys are out again, again, we already know Porzingis. If Jalen Brown ends up being ruled out here too, 7K for Derek White, certainly a consideration. Yeah, I think um, if Jalen Brown is ruled out, I mean, I put out the tweet. We talked about it on the stream. I don't know how much more we had to say about how good Derek White is without Brown and Porzingis, right? Like mm -hmm. Al Horford being back doesn't really impact that because, like, at Luke Al Horford giving you the same production. <laughs> I mean, dude, like Luke Cornett probably took more shots than Al Horford, like seven shots. It's probably like on par with Horford, yeah. right? So, like, I don't know how many times we have to like tell you when guys are out, Derek White just immediately like like almost priority number one because he's three thousand dollars less than jason tatum so right. um Derek, uh, part for the course again if brown's out for Derek. Lee. agreed um 6k range here tyus uh desumo and caruso could be interesting if kobe white's out caruso had a big day he did a big did. day on what he really did he really, <laughs> he really, really, really did, did. Uh, but both of those guys would obviously be super interesting. Uh, Giddy played 28 minutes against the Pacers, gave you 28 fantasy points there, uh, $5,700. Uh, they started uh, Hayward, but as you mentioned, Jalen Williams is back for uh, the Thunder here, so I don't think that's going to happen. Delano Banton up to 5K. He started over Scoot. Yes. Uh, so that's something to note. Uh, we'll see how, they, how Portland handles the back-to-back -back rotation for them, but um you know something to pay attention to there um what else are you looking at for the point guard position if there is no Jalen brown drew holiday would definitely be in play um 12 shots was good to see without porzingis and um Jalen brown 16 8 5 1 and 2 he's like just he's just like yo guys i am good to go whenever you need me. and then they need him and he's like yo do you remember i told you that uh point guard only by the way drew holiday so 6600 i think that's a good price I wonder if the scoot off the bench thing had to do with Jeremy Grant, just like wanting the punch off the bench. But then again, who knows? Maybe they just, um, Chauncey saw what he did in the starting lineup and liked him better off the bench. Yeah. We'll see. I, I 5,200 is a pretty good price for scoot Henderson. So I wouldn't like totally be opposed to that. If Jeremy Grant was out, um, same thing for Banton. If he starts, I'd be okay with both those guys. If guys are out for the Clippers, like Terrence Mann is whatever. I think if Harden's out, dude, Bones Highland, 4,100. 
I don't know if they would start him, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did either. You and would think there could at least be some more minutes of both Kwai and and Harding are out here. Yeah, yeah, I would have a hard time not prioritizing Bones, just considering he's back in the rotation. We know he's a high volume scorer, and sh- like not even he's not efficient, but he shoots a ton when he's yeah. on the floor. So and the good good threes lately. Then he comes into yeah. a game against Chicago here potentially, and with more minutes. Yep, coming off a, a game that Chicago had to play in overtime. Like right. Yep, so yep, yep, like yep. it's it's tired legs for the Bulls. Um it would be all systems go for bones if if guys are out there. Yeah, I agree with you 100 percent Uh moving on over to the shooting guard position. Some guys we've obviously already discussed. If everybody's out, I mean Paul George becomes yep. an, probably an auto plug, eighty three hundred dollars. Um, you know, you would think a ceiling potential game for him. He's obviously had some big games and he's had a lot of not so big games this season. If Jalen Brown was in, would you pay the 79? It's a really fun game. Jalen Brown's been really good. So like, I think I would, Paul George team to himself. I'd rank Paul George ahead of him. Sure. Jalen green. I'd probably rank ahead of him. Um, love the minutes from Jalen green. Just didn't make any of his shots, which we've sure. talked about a lot. Uh, great peripheral stats. No shin goon, seven rebounds. Um, but Brown would probably be next on that tier. I, I know, I know. Elephant in the room, <laughs> dude. I mean, what a bum! Only four, uh, 39 minutes. I mean, what are we doing here? I mean, twenty nineteen and ten for Josh Hart with Jalen Brunson. So, uh, revenge narrative. Um, I was gonna say he <laughs> played for Portland, right? He was traded, I think, from the Pelicans to the Trailblazers when they were terrible last year, year before. Um, but he only played half a season there. Maybe. Yeah. I think he only played half a season and then went to the Knicks. I believe. Mm-hmm. Traded to the Knicks. Um, uh, no, he spent two, two seasons there. Two seasons there. Okay. Well, I guess, sorry. I lied. I guess one, two years, but like one full year. Cause right. He got traded for the Pelicans 2021, 2022 started last year with them and then got traded to the Knicks. So, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, like... Average I mean, 19 points a game for them, by the way, after being traded there by the Pelicans, so... I mean, dude, he's a good bas- He's a very good basketball player that, like, is on a Knicks team that traded for OG and has Julius Randle playing 40 minutes un- under Thibodeau, right? But, like, yeah. if you think about it, even when Randle comes back, they have to explore the Randle at the five situation because you just can't... Who, who do you take off the floor? Yeah, what was OG's minutes in that game? It, you're just... Uh, but oh, yeah. also factor in they didn't play a fourth quarter right right yeah, well, other than I, Josh I, I was wondering like so hart did that <laughs> even with yes. o, with og back yes yes and hart also played 39 minutes in the game they were up 30 so yeah. just um the minutes on brunson the minutes on divincenzo the minutes on uh og are all were all lower mm-hmm. because of the blowout um josh hart just doesn't matter. He's just going to play what he's going to play. Uh, below them, you have uh, Ubre here at 62. Uh, we talked already about Chicago guys. Caruso's at 55. DeSumo, 59. Norm already playing minutes. $5,200 here in Chicago. If, if Again, if no Leonard and no um, Harden, I mean, it should be another really good opportunity for Norm Powell to score. Um, Sam Hauser, if there's no Jalen Brown, you know he's gonna play 34 minutes back to back games and 30 fantasy points for him. Ah, such a such a tilt. I almost cursed there. Um, you deserve the curse there. I mean, the Celtics, the Celtics really screwed us there. They 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 set out, they tweet out official Twitter account, Peyton Pritchard, and then 10 minutes after the game is supposed to start, because the NBA does not start games on time, 10 minutes after the game is supposed to start. They tweet out an updated starting lineup, including Sam Hauser. Rosters are already locked, so you can't even move back to Sam Hauser there. And and you know what's funny? Like it make it makes it's it's hilarious that forty percent of the field said, "Eh, Pain Bridge is starting. Let's just let's just hope Sam Hauser is good." Like I did the right thing, pivoting to Peyton Pritchard. I yeah. pivoted to the guy starting, reportedly starting. And that's that's I mean that's a nut that's this week in a nutshell so far that's that's this week in a nutshell. So far. I agree. Um, uh, any other shooting guards for you? Um, I mean, 
Koulibaly played another 32 minutes. He's actually been super productive the last two games, 29, 26 fantasy points. The points have been good too. Uh, double digit points in three straight games. Rashawn Holmes was in questionable. That obviously helps his ceiling in terms of minutes. Dylan Brooks wasn't great the other day, but he fouled out. Um, six for 11 shooting was good. $4,500. Not a lot of people are going to want to play Dylan Brooks, but um, there's, you know, a case to be made. Who getting gets, uh, what's Beasley? Beasley's questionable. Pat Bev is probable. Would Beverly start if Beasley gets ruled out? Him or Connaughton, probably. Right. That would probably be my guess. 3,600 Pat Bev versus Philly in a revenge game. True. Right? Yeah, he's starting. Right? If there's no Beasley, it's it's Beasley. Yeah, right? that'd be perfect. and that'd be kind of an interesting spot there for for Beverly. That would be an interesting spot. Thirty six hundred is a good. That's a good price for him starting. Yeah, uh, small forward again. JT ninety eight hundred dollars. Uh, won't obviously argue against anybody playing. Uh, coming off fifty one fantasy points there against Utah, he had fifty six against Phoenix in their game in Phoenix two games ago. Obviously, Boston's been better at home, um, so you certainly can run that out. Um, surprise to nobody, DeRozan lays an egg when we play him. Then tonight goes out there, has a monster effort. Uh, now he's got the Clippers on a back to back at home at $8,200. Toby, 74. Denny down to 69. What are your thoughts on the top half of the small forward position? The Bulls are just the most hilarious team in the NBA. Can't figure them out. Dude, they are the most hilarious team in the NBA. Um, DeRozan, 46 and 9, 3, 2, and 1. And hit that game tying fadeaway, like contorting his body to put him into overtime. Um, great play design. Shout out Billy Donovan. But um, 46. <laughs> did he 40, 46 points? I, I mean, played him. He had 11. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, he played, he doubled, he played, he had 46 points. We played him. He had 23 minutes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So uh, he doubled the points than he did. Uh, he doubled up points in yeah. minutes than minutes played the night before. Um, I mean, if there's no Kawhi, you know, like who's stopping DeMar DeRozan? Um, I, I do like that this game is the second game on the slate. I will say that. I'm I'm sure. very happy that it's not a Clippers home like game 10 here. Start. <laughs> yeah, so we, we'll know pretty early. There's only one game. It's Phoenix Boston in the 730 window. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean – DeRozan for sure. I mean, DeRozan for sure. I would probably also get to Kawhi at 84. That's pretty cheap. That's the cheapest he's been in a little bit. Sure. Since January. So I worry about the back spasms thing. Yeah, a little bit. Especially how, how quick he just like left. Yeah. Like the report was like, he left the, the stadium. Yeah, he just <laughs> like, like walked like, out. I'm yeah. going home. I'm going to finish watching this on my couch. Yeah. <laughs> no, he definitely didn't watch. Yeah, think Kawhi... well, yeah, he definitely didn't watch it. He's like, uh, I, I watched. He was uncomfortable sitting down, so he just went home. <laughs> but I just left and like took a shower and like yeah. probably started like like I don't know. He got like some whatever robots do when they you know. I was gonna say again the jacuzzi, but he was short uh, short sure, circuit. Sure, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, so Denny's there at sixty nine. I do like Denny. Uh, 6,900 bucks. So I'm good. Good. The minutes are just ridiculous for him. So, yep. uh, Rashawn Holmes is questionable. questionable. So, yep. uh, we will have to see about the Washington starting lineup in this one, but, uh, Denny should be, uh, in a good spot for some minutes here. Um, obviously that it would impact Kispert as well. Uh, do you play OG? I mean, dude, off the rip, 29 minutes. Guy missed I mean, two months, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We've talked about this before. He's fine. I think that will. It was an elbow, right? So I'm sure the conditioning was fine. It's just like, mm-hmm. but six for eleven with a with an elbow injury, and there's like surgery and stuff to clean it up. So yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's a a, a decent uh, little spot for OG to play. Okay. Uh, where else are you looking then? Obviously, since um, Portland, you know, Tamani Kamara is 4,700. Maybe if he gets an extra extra minutes here um, with Jeremy Grant out. Yeah, Tamani Kamara, if if Grant's out. Yeah. Because Grant's at the front end. Uh, wondering right. if that's one of the situations where they sit Grant on the front end, play him on the back end. Because uh, sure. he played, he just played the other day, like big yeah. minutes. Um, Kispert, 54 as well. Uh, 36 minutes for Corey Kispert. Didn't miss shots because that's what he does when he gets the opportunity. Um, he has 22 actual in back to back games. So if there's no Rashawn Holmes, guess what? 
He's going to start and he's going to play 36 minutes. And Washington, dude, we've said they're just going to play these five guys like every minute. That's it. They're just playing them all. And the Houston minute. going Jabari like plays small. Kuzma certainly can match that sort of lineup build. So, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, does Hayward get any extra run here? Uh, they extended him. They started him. He played 30 minutes. I have to think so. Um, dude, I've, I've, since the acquisition, Giddy's the one, the odd man out here. Like, come playoff series, I, I think Giddy's dead to right. And yeah, Hayward was pretty good the other night. Um, good defensively. The 30 minutes, I think, was obviously great. He's an extra playmaker that, I mean, is he much different than Giddy as a playmaker? We've seen Gordon Hayward do this like kind of thing for yeah, years. Yeah, I think Giddy is more of an actual passer than Hayward better, is. Better passer. Hayward is Hayward, more polished offensive player for sure. Which I think helps because they're dude, they're sagging off Giddy and letting him shoot now. Which is like, okay, well now what do you that doesn't help SGA when SGA wants to drive to the rim and stuff, right? So there's um, an update that could impact this game. Uh, Luka Doncic to the locker room as we are currently. Yeah, he has not here. played. He has not played um, since he's at 30 minutes. He checked out end of third and never returned. And now he's in the locker room. So second leg of a back to back for Dallas on the road could be looking at a no Luka night and uh, maybe Kyrie. A Kyrie Exum you know rotation. Or something. Oh, dude, in OKC. I was already worried about them with Luca. Yeah. Oh, is that even, you know, like OKC coming off a tough loss, getting Jalen Williams back? Here. Yeah. It'd be interesting because obviously there's some value on Dallas outside of won't return hamstring. Already ruled him out. So, uh, so are we done? Like Luca done? To, I mean, is that's not a good sign for tomorrow unless no. they're like preemptively ruling him out because they're like, all right, we're up eleven. I have to assume he doesn't play. To, uh, to, for the slate that we're recording for right now, the fact that he went to the locker room, they already ruled him out. Instant, instant rule out. Right? And that's usually not a good indicator for playing the next day when it's travel on the road. So, no, it's not. Um, rewind quickly then. Like, where now does Kyrie Irving rank for you at $8,400? I mean, like, I should say in the upper tier, and he's having like, a really good game. Uh, he might triple double tonight, John. Uh, yeah. There's a chance that he triple doubles. Um, I mean, a solo Kyrie and other in other iterations is a 10k player. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not at all disputing it. Like he is per dollar one of the best plays in the slate. It's just back to back in OKC. After, like, and it's not a obviously not a fart. Like they're going from Texas to Oklahoma. Yeah, Dallas, Oklahoma. Like, yeah, yeah. They probably drive it, you know. <laughs> they, they like Kyrie in his car, probably like <laughs> uh or his hoverboard, whatever Kyrie believes. Whatever in. he does, yeah. Trying to believe in cars. He's um, probably got one of those like motorized unicycles, you know. Just like... <laughs> Anyways, um, I mean he's literally as we watch it live, there's three minutes left. He's one assist and two rebound shy of a triple double. Yeah. Basically playing. I mean, Luca Luca didn't look good in the first half. Um, not just saying that because he didn't have a good first half. He just didn't look, he looked a little fatigued off. because they're playing him 43 minutes a night. Could be, could be the case. Doubling, you know? and, he, and he gets hurt a lot. Yeah. He, um, I mean, Kyrie, he would be one of the better, he would be one of the better plays on the slate. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, I think, I think you would probably throw him up there. Who starts Hardaway? Yeah, him or Exum, right? Because yeah, that's true. They were they wanted to start Exum earlier in the year, and then they were like, "Nah, actually, we're not going to do that." Yeah, him, um, or, him what, or Exum, both are cheap. Uh, Exum 36. is Hardaway is four K. Exum is thirty six. So I mean, like Exum is currently at twenty two minutes. Tim Hardaway is at fourteen, and Exum's on the floor closing in the closing lineup. So uh, Exum, right? Yeah, thirty six hundred dollar Exum immediately becomes one of the more popular plays on the slate at 6k so um we were talking small forward value that's probably it and unless we get some more injury news um oof i cannot that's that was one of our uh more that was one of the more live reactions we've had during these things yeah for sure 
Uh, power forward, you have Giannis at 11-4, KD at 9-5. We've talked Tatum a little bit already. Um, I told you the other day against Sacramento, like Giannis would be one of my first plugs in, went for 53. 30-13-4, had no blocks, just one steal. Didn't really pay off the 11-5. I still think he's a playable guy on this slate, especially now that there's no like Luca, potentially no Luca. You're talking ceilings. Him and SGA and Durant and all them, you know, they're... 50s, 55, 60 fantasy point ceiling. So I'm um, all about all about your roster builds here. Yeah, and he didn't play the fourth quarter in that game. Which is yeah. Game. So um, he was well on his way to pure domination. Agreed. Uh, again, KD, 95, you want to go there? Certainly can. Kuzma yeah. at 82. KD's been on KD, yeah, KD's on another level. Brady, um, just crazy, crazy stretch. Went right. for 69 ice against Boston, and then they followed it up with a 59 against Cleveland. So 35 actual in four straight, in four straight games. Uh, that, that makes you believe in Phoenix. Like when he's doing that, um, mm-hmm. it makes you believe in Phoenix. I Agreed. mean, it's dude, like even in like a game where Kuzma, like wasn't really, it was like very plotting, slow build 40 fan. Like he just ends with 40 fantasy points and you're like, Oh, he got there again. 37 minutes, 18 shots, really good peripheral stats. Kuzma's starting center is just too hard to deal with for opposing teams. And again, it just reverts back to Washington not wanting to be the worst team in the NBA and playing all their guys. And they're playing them all big minutes. So, yes, Kuzma 82. Um, Kuzma 82 is, I probably, like, per dollar, I mean, with anybody at that position. Like, Giannis and Durant have, like, higher ceilings, but Kuzma has been as consistent as anyone in the, at this power forward position. Yeah, for sure. Um, other guys in the mid tier, uh, Jabari, um, Jalen Williams being back, as we mentioned, anybody in particular for you? Yeah, I think both those guys are fine. Uh, Jabari Smith did nothing in the first half of that game, did everything in the second half of that game. Uh, Jalen Williams you have to be confident. He's healthy. He, not even on the injury report, right? So good enough right. to, to play full capacity minutes. Really good matchup for OKC. So if you want to get to either of those guys, I think both of them are fine. Okay. Um, let's see. Value talk, Kispert already. Kamara talked already. Small slate, not power forward, not really loaded with depth here. Any, anybody uh, I'm missing that you're interested in? Paul Reed. Okay. Another 27 fantasy points off the bench for um, for Philly in a game that they, again, scored 79 points. So uh, some Paul Reed I think is interesting. Um, you mentioned Kamara. That's probably it. Um, I get maybe Amir Coffey would start in a situation where Clippers are shorthanded. Yeah, that's fine. Um, center position then. Luke, 85. Aiton, 77. Chet, 72. Um, good with all three. Love Aiton in tournaments. Love Chet at 72. Uh, what about for value for you at the position? Uh, Zubats is fine. He'll play mid twenties, mid to high twenties minutes. Gafford forty nine started, played solid minutes, lively. Um, and that's probably it. Okay. Um, let's get a lineup going then. Where do you want to start here? Uh, Kyrie. Yeah, that makes sense. An XM, I guess, right? Just yeah, probably take, take the value while he's there. Uh, sixty three hundred dollars for the remaining positions. Uh, George, I guess, right? Just assuming I mean, one of those guys on play. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. If, you know, I, I I have no idea if they're going to play. I assume they're in until they're not. But okay. Well, where would you like to go? It's it's small forward here. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. Uh, Rashawn Holmes is questionable. So Norm? Um, or one of the Chicago Caruso? Yeah. All right, Kobe White lost tonight. Think Kobe White plays tomorrow? No. Oh, Caruso, 55? Yeah. So $6,500 power forward. Jabari. Yeah, Jabari. Or unless you want to play like Van Vliet or Green at guard. I mean, you could probably we could probably get I'd get them both in here, yeah. 
Uh, center position. Where did Landale play? 20, 25, 6 minutes, 4,600. Did you play them both? Probably. Hey, it was a weird game for Amen Thompson. So, uh, Gafford ended up playing um, 26 minutes in this game. He's 4,900. He had seven blocks and two steals. 10, 10 6, didn't miss a shot. Uh, and nine blocks and steals combined. I would definitely play Daniel Gafford. Okay. 7K then. You mentioned getting Van Vliet. He was 83, 6,500. Uh, we're just running it back with Josh Hart. $5,400. And you like Reed. That works. And if uh, obviously if Holmes was ruled out, well, we can pivot to Kispert if you prefer that move or Scoot or somebody like that. And if the Clippers guys are out, Norm Powell's right there at 52. So uh, just an example lineup build for everybody here today. Irving, Exum, Caruso, Smith, Gafford, Van Vliet, Hart, and Reed will have the playbook out for everybody. Uh, get us in the Discord. Find us on Twitter. And we'll be back live at 5 p.m. Eastern time to get you guys ready for the Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. start time on this NBA DFS slate. Till then, everybody, we'll talk to you later.